Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss eugenics. Um, so eugenics was a common ideology, philosophy, as well as a scientific um, idea um, in the early 20th century or the first half of the 20th century um, that really fell out of favor uh, sort of after World War II. Um, eugenics essentially was the self-direction of human development. So it was humans trying to uh, make humans of a certain type. Um, the way this was done was you control breeding, you sort of pick the people who you think should breed, the people who you think are the higher people, the best specimens, and you only let them breed and you prevent other people from breeding. Um, today we view this as brutal human rights, human rights abuses. Um, things were done to the people who were deemed unfit um, that we simply just say aren't appropriate, they're not reasonable. Um, things like sterilization, people would be sterilized who were deemed unfit. Um, people weren't allowed to breed, there were all sorts of racial um, segregation and stereotypes. Um, the, the best example of eugenics movement and sort of also the worst example is the Holocaust and the Nazis. Um, Hitler had decided that um, there, the Aryan race was this ultimate race and that other races um, such as gypsies, Jews, and so forth, um, mentally ill, were simply not fit and didn't deserve um, not only to reproduce, but he decided they didn't deserve to live. He was trying to rid them from the earth in a version of eugenics. Um, so uh, today also a lot of the racial issues and sort of the highlighting of specific ethnic groups um, is considered genocide, something that didn't exist, a term that didn't exist um, in the early half of the 20th century. Um, it's pretty easy from this point of view to say that eugenics was wrong, um, but during that point in time a lot of, um, it had a lot of popularity and it even held a lot of popularity along among the elite. Um, maybe it did hold popularity among the elite, elite because they thought that they would be able to reproduce and pass off their own traits. Um, I'm not sure, but it has definitely gone back and forth and sort of after World War II it really fell out of favor. Um, it is coming back in not necessarily in its same form, but some of the questions, the moral um, issues that surround it are starting to surface again um, with genetic engineering, genetic modification, um, gene therapy, all these things, all these developments in science these days are really starting to bring up some of the ethical issues that were raised with the eugenics movement at the start of the 20th century. So this has been a brief discussion of the eugenics and uh, some of the impacts that that had.